everyone. So since yesterday I did my project polish update, which I'll go ahead and link down below in case you haven't seen it, I decided I might as well do my 15 and 15 update as well. Now most of these things um, I'm using almost every day. So if you um, check the bottom of my description boxes, it always says like what I'm wearing. A lot of these products are should be pretty familiar to you. So I thought I would just go ahead and show you what progress I've made. Some of it's really good, some of it's not so much, so let's just go ahead. So um, the first one is this concealer. It's the Smashbox High Definition Concealer. I've actually only worn this once, and today was the first time, because, and this is like a little spoiler alert, um, in my 7 by Spring video, which I'll link that below too, I have a concealer, which is the Benefit Fake Up, and I finished it up today, so I started using this. But that was the first time I've used it, so there's not really any progress to show. I think I'm about right there. It's really weird because, like, sometimes when I go to squeeze it, there's not that much that comes out. But it is a transparent tube, so I think I should be able to see the progress, if that makes sense. So I think that's where I am. The other... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to turn off my cell phone. The other base product is this foundation. Unfortunately... It's really weird because it's a very liquidy foundation. I've actually done a full-on review of this, which I'll go ahead and link below. It's the Maybelline Fit Me, and but it doesn't. It takes a long time to fall down to where you can really see it. But I checked on the inside and stuff, and I've made that much progress. It's been about a month and a half since I made my original video, so I think in hopefully about another month or so, month ish, um, I should be able to finish this foundation. So it'll be gone before I move, which will be really exciting. So that makes me really happy. I also, this is such a frustrating product. Product. This is the NYC New York Color Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the shade 720A Sunny. It's the very famous, you know, sunny bronzer. And I use this literally every single day to bronze up the perimeter of my face, down my neck, things like that. Um, I don't use it to contour because I really think it's too orange. So you would think I would make a lot of progress on it. And I already hit pan when I started. That's all I've done. And I don't know why. I thought I hit a hard pan, so I kind of scraped off the top. And that's not the case. It's You can see it right there. It's really light, and it looks really orange on my skin tone. Um, so, I don't know. I really want to use this up this year. That's the plan. And I'm like I said, I've been using it every day. But that's not a lot of progress at all. Excuse me, I have a cough for some reason. I've never had a cough before where I didn't feel sick. I feel totally fine, but I have a cough, so I don't know why. Um, and then I also have this powder. This is this one is probably the most exciting as far as progress goes because when I started this, I hadn't even hit pan on it. And it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 005 Silky Beige. And look at that. Lots and lots and lots of pan. So, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this up by the time I move in May, but maybe, or if not, you know, definitely by the end of this year, so that's really exciting. I feel pretty hopeful about that guy. This guy I've been a little bit sad about, but I, I had, like, my first glimmer of hope today. This is the Elf Con Contouring Blush and Bronzer in St. Lucia, St. Lucia, St. Lucy, Lucy, I feel like it's St. Lucia, but it's an E and not an A, so I don't really know. Um, now, I've been using this contour every single day. I wasn't using this blush, but I decided that if it's in my, any of my things, like 6x6, six six, see of my spring, you know, whatever, um, or my 15 and 15, which is this video, obviously, I'm going to have to use it up before I can use other things. That's what I'm thinking right now, at least. We'll see about that. But, um, I use this every day. Now, you can see the lines in the pan, and you've been able to see that for a really long time, but I think you can see it right now. I hit pan on it just a tiny bit. I mean, it's nothing too, like, something to write home about. But I did hit pan on it today, actually, because it's the blush I'm wearing, the blush and the contour I'm wearing. Um, like I said, I've got this all over my face, or the perimeter and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I hit pan on that. But the contour I still haven't, and like I said, this has been my contour every single day. But hopefully, in the next eight months or so, or, <coughs> excuse me, nine months or so, this thing can be used up as well. Now let's go to eyes, which I think is probably the most difficult thing that I put on my list. Um, and I put quite a bit, so I don't know. I'm not giving up by any means, but we'll see what happens. So this is the Coastal Sense Reveal 2 Palette Sampler in the shade Sunset. 
So just a little plasticky, dinky thing. But there's a lot of product. If you can see, each product is actually in its own pan. It's really pretty. It's just a neutral, semi-pink toned palette. Little sampler. Some of these shimmery shades are a little bit powdery, but they're beautiful. This shade right here, it's this dark brown that's right here, is my favorite because it's got a little bit of pink in it. So that's really, really pretty. I was actually planning on this today, but I have a St. Patrick's Day party, so I wore green makeup instead. All right. So the other thing that um, is an eyeshadow is this Alme. <coughs> Excuse me. Shadow Softy in the shade 140 Vintage Grey. Yeah. So this I'd only worn like once or twice. And it's got a weird like jelly-like consistency. And I have a hit pan on it. But hopefully y'all can tell there is a huge dip in it. I think if I, because I hope y'all can see this. Like you can make fingerprints in it and like shove it around in there. Um, so I think if I really like tried to shove and dig in there, I could technically see pan. But this is really hard to apply. The only thing that I can get any kind of color payoff with is this Nika K angled shadow brush. I kind of like really dig this in the product and then put it on, but it's not an easy thing to apply. I don't love it, but we've made some progress on it, so that's exciting. And the last eyeshadow thing. Um, is this Ulta Baked Eyeshadow in the shade Sweet Dreams. This is a duo. And it's really shimmery. Now, as you can see, I have a hip pan, but I'm hoping if I do it like this, you can see that this brown shadow right here, I've actually made quite a bit of progress on, and the dome is quite a bit flatter. This pinker shade I haven't made as much progress on. Um, but I'm thinking now that another, my super light pink eyeshadow that I had in my 7 by Spring is gone, that maybe I'll make some more. I used it in my inner corner the other day and I liked it. So there they are. I use this as a transition. I kind of buff it in my crease and then sometimes I put stuff over it just, but I find when I do that, it just makes my shadows look so much more fluid and nice and more professional. And then this pink right here, it's pretty. It, it's not super pigmented, but it is pretty. Um, and I like it in the inner corner. But I think, you know, that's a decent amount of progress. For again, it's only been a month and a half. And I've still got quite a bit more to go. And the last eye product. Oh, no, I have two more. I forgot about this guy. Um, this guy I've used a few times, but not very much. It's the Ardency Inn, um, which is like a brand that's getting a lot of hype right now because their eyeshadows are apparently amazing. I haven't tried them, unfortunately. And this is the Punker World's Baddest Eyeliner. I've heard their Modster eyeliners are absolutely phenomenal, but this is terrible. It's like a Sharpie. It's a felt tip. It's huge. And um, it's not super black. And it's not like, oh, it's kind of older. Like, it was never super black. And when you go over it, you kind of pick up your product. So I don't love this at all. Um, but I have a black eyeliner in my 7 by Spring. Which I'm actually afraid I'm not even going to finish that up, unfortunately. So I haven't gotten a ton of use out of this. I'm sorry that you can't see the pro progress in some of these like that. But can't really help it. There's nothing I can do, unfortunately. And this is, for real, the last eyebrow product. I mean, the last eye product. I have worn this every day. It's the Ofra Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Universal. Now, when I started this, it was five calf links. If that makes sense. So, now... It's just under, it's probably like two and a third, I would say. So that's really exciting. I've made quite a bit of progress on this. Again, I have used it every day. And also, and, and this is unfortunate because I don't like to waste product even when I am trying to get through it. Um, when you sharpen it, it breaks a bunch and it's very hard to sharpen. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It's very hard to sharpen. So um, that's probably one of the reasons why I have so much progress. Also, I did go to a party. Um, athlete versus athlete party with my fraternity and I gave myself a really sexy unibrow so that's part of it too I'm sure all right and the last five products are actually lip products so this one there has been some progress but again unfortunately I can't really show you and it's the Too Faced lip insurance and I think I mentioned this in my January favorites was it January or February I think it was January 
Um, and what this is is just a little doe foot app applicator, clear thing, and you put it on your lips before you put anything else on, and it really like smooths out your lips, and it makes anything that goes over apply better and last longer. Um, and I was doing pretty well on it, so I had to take out the cap because I wasn't getting anything out, and there is still a bunch of product in here. Um, so, as always, I always recommend taking out your cap or digging down in a product and stuff because if you're going to pay for it, might as well get every last cent you can. But this is doing really nice. The only bad thing about this is it is kind of sticky. Um, so you have to have something over it. Alright, this guy I have used a couple times and this is another thing I can't really show you progress on, which is annoying. It's the Revlon Just Bit in Lip Stain Plus Balm. I think I mentioned this when I on my first video, but that always happens. Um, I forgot about that, but the balm broke the first time I tried to use it. This always comes out, and it's just like a felt, like it's like a marker, like you have when you're a child. And packaging is terrible, and it is just like a marker. Um, it's an okay color. It just it it doesn't apply the best. It's up there again. It's the shade midnight. It's kind of a brownie mauve, however, as it wears off, it does turn kind of a hot pink. So it's okay. I haven't used it that much because it's really hard to apply. But there's that. And again, I can't show you any progress on that. Um, this is something I've used quite a few times. And it's weird because I know that this tube is transparent. And, but you can't see, like, it's not falling down any. I don't think it's, like, falling down to where... You know, like most lip glosses, like, this one falls down and you can really see your progress. It hasn't done that, and I don't know why. Um, but it is harder and harder to get product out, and it's just a Lorac lip gloss in the shade Rock. I really like this as a topper. It smells really good, and it keeps your lips pretty hydrated if you use it as a topper. However, I don't think it's pigmented enough to really, um use on its own because if you do I feel like I look sick but it's a nice pretty purple and in case you don't know I love purple lips. This guy is the Sonia Kashuk Satin Luxe Tinted Lip Balm. No, Moisture Luxe Tinted Lip Balm, excuse me, in the shade Hint of Pink. Now I have used this a bunch because I really love a hot pink lip and if I've gone for any kind of hot pink lip it's been this one. So let me swatch it for you first because if I open it all the way up I'll break it. It's, it's got a decent color payoff, that's for sure, and it's definitely buildable. Um, it kind of doesn't look great if your lips aren't in perfect condition, which is weird because it is a lip balm. Um, so I do recommend using the Too Faced Lip Insurance. But look at that, that's all that's left. When I first started, it was over the Sonia, and now it's right there halfway through the S. So I definitely think I can use this up. I've been using it quite a bit. And I do like it, um, but it is, Sony Cash Check is great, but it's a little bit expensive for the drugstore. So I don't love that. And the last of my 15 products is the Spare Minerals Lip Gloss. It's not a Marvelous Moxie lip gloss, it's just a plain lip gloss in the shade Cupcake. When I started, I was about right there. I'm not sure the exact spot, because unfortunately, um, because I do put lip products in my purse and stuff, I also... Um, I put everything in this little bag so I carry it downstairs when I edit videos or like not edit you know I don't edit when I put everything in the description box so I can make sure I tell you all everything I'm using um, it does wear off the marker but I'm pretty sure it was right around there and now it's there so I'm about halfway done I actually have this over what lip thing am I using today it's an NYC 16 hour lip stain it's in the shade unstoppable red um it's really i thought it was an orangey coral but on my lips it shows up really hot pink it's that and then i have this lip gloss over it and this is just a really nice it's pretty opaque slightly sticky nude gloss like peachy mauvey nude with some gold glitter in it it's right there it's pretty opaque as you can see so i have used this quite a bit so, there are my 15 products. Hopefully, in the next update, I'll have used something up. That would be really exciting. Um, but those are those products. I'm definitely using them, trying to really focus on them, and hopefully get them out of my collection by the end of 2015. Um, so, if you're doing anything like this, any um, kind of seasonal project or anything. Sorry, I just realized I don't know where Hippo is. 
It's a little scary. Um, then please let me know down below. I really enjoy watching these videos. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you all real soon. Bye!